guys and guys, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to start a Tekkit server. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to www.technicpack.net forward slash Tekkit. And that will bring you to this website right here. And um, it will have the Technic uh, logo up the top. Uh, that will tell you you're in the right place. And then you're going to want to go over to this tab, Tekkit, if you're not already over there already. And you're going to want to scroll down until you see Get Tekkit. And then you're going to want to click Download the Tekkit Server. And that's basically going to download this little thing down in the corner. I don't know if you can see that. It says uh, Tekkit Server. Um, it is 14 megabytes. And it will download the Tekkit uh, Server Starter um, little package. And then once you have that downloaded, you can come back and do the next step. Alrighty guys, so once you have that downloaded, you're just going to want to click that and drag that over to your desktop. Uh, pretty straightforward there. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click it and you're going to say, um, you're going to want to open it. So I'll bring up this little window with your uh, Tekkit, all the Tekkit stuff that was inside of that .zip you downloaded. And then you're basically going to want to select it and say extract all. Now that's basically just going to extract it whatever's inside the zip it's going to put it into a folder so it's unzipped uh, it makes everything run all smooth and stuff like that um, so basically you're going to want to do that and then you're going to check show extracted files when complete it's basically going to make your life simple so you don't have to go and open it once you're done doing that so that's going to extract it will take a little bit because it is quite a compressed little zip file so I'm just going to let that do its thing and I'll be right back Okay, so it turned out my recording kind of slowed down that process, but it zipped right along as soon as I finished. So here we go. It opened that new folder as soon as it finished, like I told it to. Um, you can get rid of this little zipped folder. Um, you can tell it's a zipped folder just because you can see that little icon up there. Um, you can get rid of this window because you've already extracted it. You don't need it anymore. Also, if you really want, you can get rid of it on your desktop, the little zip, because we no longer need that. So you still have your folder. It should be in the same directory you have your zip in. So that's always nice and easy to find. Um, so once you have it unzipped and everything like that, you're going to have all these files. And you're probably wondering, what in the world is this? Okay, so you're basically not going to want to mess with anything, touch anything quite yet. Um, so you're going to have you're going to have quite a few folders and quite a few little um, applications. Buildcraft is basically all the plugins for the Buildcraft plugin that comes with Tekkit. Config is basically a whole bunch of complicated config things. If you're into all sorts of techie stuff, you can mod these, whatever you want. Um, the mods folder is basically where all the Tekkit, um, all the core stuff of Tekkit goes. Um, you have a whole bunch of, you know, add-ons and Railcraft is in there, Industrial Craft, um, all that sort of stuff is in the mods folder. You do not want to touch that. It could mess things up. Um, Red Power is another mod that's in Tekkit, so that basically has all the um, Red Power stuff. If you want to mod that, you're some sort of developer, you know what to do with those. Um, but you're basically going to want to focus on these two. Um, now you're going to want to look at the one that says Windows Batch File. Now this is what you're going to click if you want to start your server. So you're going to click that. The first time you open it, it's going to say the publisher could not be verified. Are you sure you want to run the software? Um, yes, you want to run it. So I uncheck this, which means I do not want it to pull up this dialog and ask me every time I want to start it. And then I'll click run. And there we go. It starts the server. So basically already it's a really easy process. All you have to do is unzip and run. Um, so once this finishes, it'll create all these sorts of files as you can see in the background. It just created like 10 more. Now, you're probably getting freaked out right now. Um, I'm going to stop this. Well, I'm going to let it do its thing. It's very important to let it uh, prepare a spawn area and um, starting the regions. It's very important to let that finish. And then as soon as it says done, like it says right there, um, you can type in STOP and hit enter. Alright, and then... Now we'll save the chunks, and then it'll say press any key to continue. That'll close it. All right, so you have a whole bunch of new stuff here. Um, ops, this is a little text file where basically you're going to want to put everyone that you want to be ops on your server. So I'm just going to put me in. Um, there we go. I'm op. Control S to save, and you're free to close. Um, let me just check. Yep, my settings were saved. All right, so that basically keeps all your op um, settings. 
Um, next thing is the uh, never mind. I clicked on the wrong one. Okay. Next thing you're gonna want to find is the one that is um. Where? Oh, right here. I don't know. It had a weird icon. That's why I couldn't find it. All right. So you're gonna want to find server, and it's not the text file. It is the properties file. Um. So you're gonna want to right click on this and say open with and then notepad. All right. And if it's already a notepad, great, but I think you might have to do the open with the first time. All right. So here it says Minecraft server properties. Okay, this is where all the meat and bones goes into your server. Um, you can choose your level type, like super flat. Um, server port, if you know what this does, you can change it. If not, I would recommend leaving it at the default, which is 25565. Now, the next one is allow flight. If you're going to be making flying rings in your tech at series, I would suggest putting this to true. Otherwise, you will get kicked from your own server. Alright? And then, um, <clears throat> your level name. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it at world because that, that lets me know and it's nice and straightforward. Um, if you have an epic seed that you want to put in, you put it right here. Um, no idea what the seed is. If you want, you can go try it out. The server IP. Now this is where you're going to be putting your server IP if you want it to run on a specific IP. Now, port forwarding is a whole nother ball of wax, and I'll get into it in maybe in a later episode if you want me to. But basically, if you have Hamachi or anything like that, and you know what your server IP is, then you're going to want to put that in. Alright, and in my next episode, I'll go over how to port forward and what this uh, what this does right here. Um, max build height, that's how high you want to build. Um, I would leave that at default. Spawn NPCs, true, sure, why not? And this is right here. If you want to whitelist your server, you can go put true, and then you can go into the whitelist text file and put in all the people that you want it to be whitelisted. So that makes it really straightforward and simple. Um, I just resized it. Oop, there we go. Back to normal. All right. Um, so you can change that to true. Um, it is true false based. So if you put anything other than true false, like tru, it might freak it out. I have not tried that myself. Um, and you can just go through these any uh, any way you want. I'm just gonna go over a few main ones. Um, game mode zero, of course, is survival. One is um, creative, and two is hardcore, and three three is adventure. Or actually, it's not adventure because uh, Tekkit has not been updated to 1.3 yet. So it's just um, 0, 1, and 2. All right, max players is how many people you want to join. If I wanted that many people to join, you would put that in. Right now, I'm going to keep it at 5 so I don't bog down my computer, even though this isn't going to go public or anything. Um, spawn monsters, true, false. Generate structures, true, false. Strongholds, villages, whatever. Um, view distance, you can put that up if you want to see really far. Um, normally, servers lock this to about 10. Alright, and your MOTD, that's what shows up under your server icon in everyone's um, Minecraft servers list. So I'm going to put in TGOD Awesome. And then, whoa, I cannot spell. Alright, and every time someone looks at it in their server list, it'll say this right under whatever they picked a name for it. Alright. Control S to save that, and you're free to close. And here we can put in whitelist the guy or die, just so um, if I show you guys it working later, you don't freak out. All right. So now we're going to be doing the testing portion and to see if this worked. So you're basically going to want to go to the launch.bat, double click that, get your command prompt up with all the magical code goodness going through it, and then um, <clears throat> it's basically analyzing all the stuff you did. Um, you will see an error. Uh, you see how it says info right there. You will see a little um, thing inside brackets that says error or warning if you did any of those things wrong inside of those text or properties files. So um, that's basically a qu quick way of letting you know you did something wrong. But as you can see here, they're all info, so they're they're good to go. Um, I'm gonna go minus my bleh, bleh, minimize this real quick, and then I'm gonna go log into Minecraft and show you what to do there. Okay, guys, just thought I'd mention real quick, if you want to um, run a TechIt server, you have to have a separate TechIt um, launcher, as you can see right here. Um, that is also downloaded from the site. All you do is download that little 
.exe file, double click it, sign in, you're good to go. So that is really simple. Um, there's no explanation needed there, so I don't really think I'm going to go into depth. But as you can see here, my Minecraft's loaded up. Sorry if it's a little bit laggy. I usually don't use Bandicam to do Minecraft Let's Plays, so I'm hoping it won't freak out. But um, if you have your server running in the background, which I do, it's right there. I had it minimized. Um, you see it says done, it's all good to go. Basically, if you want to check to see if your actual server is working, um, you don't have an IP yet, you don't know what that means, all that sort of stuff, you just want to see if it works, type in local host, all one word, and you click join server. That will log you into the server that is currently being hosted by your local machine. That's basically what that means, and then you'll see I'll get logged in here. Um, sorry if it's really laggy. Um, hopefully it's not. I'm not sure how this recording is going to look, but I'm not sure how Bandicam does. So, already you see this is a nice little seed. Um, you get a little nice little update. says you're seven versions late. Had no idea. Um, you guys can update if you want. So, as you can see, it's working fine. A little bit laggy because of my recording software, but hey, what are you going to do? You've got all these epic tech it stuffs. You're on a server, and um, as you can see there, I'm on a server. Everything's fine. Um, what else can I do to show I'm on a server? Yeah, well, y you guys can get the idea. So anyways, that is how to make a Minecraft server. Tune in next week. Um, I'm going to disconnect. It's freaking it out. Um, tune in next week where I show you how to port forward so your friends can join. So this was just the bare bones, how to set up your server and get everything working and... I'll see you guys in my next episode. Make sure to check out my Tech It series I'm doing with my friend MJ on my channel. Click my little name down below to go check out my channel. Also, like this video if it helped you out at all. I really hope to see you guys' uh, responses down in the comment section below. Um, make sure to ask me any questions you might have down in the comments um, other than next week's uh, video topic, which is port forwarding. And I'll see you guys in my next episode. Peace out. Yeah.